Ta-da! Presenting direct from her triumphs before her Imperial Majesty, Queen Victoria of England, that world-famous mentalist and most beguiling songstress, Miss Pansy Faye! <laughs> Bravo! Oh, I'm gonna dance for you. Gonna dance your cares away. I'll do the hoochie coo and the tar of boom de I'll sing a happy song and we'll dance the all night long. When the music begins, I'll give you some spins. I'll even invent a step ball too. So on with the show, you'll love it, I know. Oh, I'm going to dance for you. <laughs> Well, I'm delighted that you're here, Miss Faye. You see, Miss Chavez and I cannot uh, continue the little chat that we're having. You see, one of our servants is missing. Oh, oh Pansy, I have got it. I have. What you got, love? Oh, the perfect way to introduce you to Judith. Now, honestly, Carl, the way you go on about that sister of yours, why, I'm sure she's just as nice as she can be. Sometimes I think you're afraid of her. Me? Oh, 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 no, no. It's, it's just that I want her to love you as much as I do. And, and I think I have the perfect way of doing it. You'll do your act for her. Oh, Carl, I've retired. A farewell appearance. Oh, no. Yes, you're a mentalist. You'll find dirt for them. Oh, that's a great idea. Don't you think so, Barnabas? I don't see any reason to make Miss Faye... Uh do our work for us. I'm sure that we'll find him after we look for a few places. Oh, but you find him. I mean, she's, she's great. Why, why do you know that the first time I saw her act, she even read my mind? Of course. Yes, and I, I mean, you know, I was sort of embarrassed. I'll admit it. Because anybody could tell what was on my mind. I can well imagine. Now, if you'll excuse me. Oh, you go on. I'll just make myself right at home here. Well, please do. Beth, could you get Miss Faye some coffee? I'll, uh, be back to the store as soon as I can. I'll, I'll drive you to the house, Barnabas. We'll tell Judith how things stand. Would you like some coffee? Don't touch it. You wouldn't happen to have a drop of sherry around, would you? I imagine so. You don't live here? No. No, I work up at the big house. How big is it? Very big. Like a castle, he says. I didn't know whether to believe him or not. I mean, being in my line, men tell you lots of things. Oh, yes. I'm going to be very happy here. I can tell that. Cheers. Too absurd. I don't know why I ever agreed to it. Oh, Judith, please, just, just keep an open mind. Cousin Barnabas, I'm afraid my brother is imposed an awful imposition on you with this, this mentalist. He hasn't at all, Judith. <gasps> there you are, my dear. I, I'd like you to meet my sister, uh, J Judith Collins. Please, to make you acquaintance, I'm sure. How do you do? Well, shall we begin? Y yes, I, I think we'd better start. My sister's very worried about this man. Did you bring something of his, this fellow that's missing? Yes, yes, love, I did. I, I brought a cufflink, uh, I think. Yes, I did. That, w that will do, won't it? That'll do. If you will all please sit. Carl, if you'll turn on my music, please. Yes, love. <laughs> I mean, Pansy. I've got to have my music to get in the mood. Yes, I'm sure you do. Can't concentrate unless I hear my little song. <gasps> hmm. If you turn down the lights, it would make me feel a lot better, and I'd look a lot better. <laughs> That's a joke. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Worth about a quid, I'd say. <laughs> I, 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 I think we'd better begin, Pansy. Oh, yes. <clears throat> There's someone out there, and I've got something of his. A pair of lovely cufflinks he needs. A gentleman 
by the name of Dirk. Dirk Wilkins. Where are you, Dirk? Let me know where I can find you. Let me know. Dirk. 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 <gasps> Pansy! This has never happened before. Something's wrong. He is dead. Dirk Wilkins. He's dead. And his murderer is in this room. Pansy, what do you mean Dirk is dead? Well, who killed him, Pansy? Well, tell us who killed him. What did I say? What, what, what did I tell you? You have shown us. You have an overactive imagination. Thank you, Miss Fay. Now, will you please take me home, Carl? Judith, you can't leave now. Young lady? Do you think I'm going to stand around here and listen to all this nonsense? Judith! You owe us an apology, all of us. Judith, you, you have no right to talk to Pansy like that. No right at all. Especially since her and I are going to be married. I will go home alone. Judith! Of all the impossible things you've ever done. Judith, come and try to stop. Me. Judith, please! This is, this is no way for us to stop. Judith! You tell me what I did wrong? You accuse one of us of murder. Oh, that's really scary, isn't it? I mean, not to remember, that's not happened to me before. You have no memory of what you said. Think, Pansy. I can't think. I mean, why did Cole leave like that? Well, who told you that Dirk was dead? A voice. I don't understand it. Oh, I do wish Carl wouldn't ask me to perform. I mean, I'd rather sing than do my metal act any time. I have a lovely trained voice, as you know. Yes, I know you have. She didn't like me, did she? I tell you what, I'll go and see what I can do with him. I should just go up there and show her I'm not afraid of her. I know, I'll look after it. You just stay here. You certainly mucked up that one, pansy girl. You should just go up to that big house and tell Carl Collins. Who's there? <gasps> Look! 